The Mercedes S-Class has always been the benchmark for refined German luxury. It's elegant, classy, and incredibly comfortable. But this is no normal S550. This is the S65 AMG. When you step into a Mercedes S550, it's hard to imagine it could get any better than that. But you'd be wrong, extremely wrong. Now the S550 starts at $96,000, which is of course a lot of money. You want a better engine, a quicker car, better steering feel, you can upgrade to the S63. Its base price is $144,000 before any options. But for those who want the ultimate, the pinnacle of luxury, that is where the S65 comes into play. And this car starts at an absolutely ridiculous $227,000. How is it possible that the S65, which is based on the S550, costs more than twice as much? Well, that's what we're here to find out. The good news is, for those of you who don't wanna spend much more than $227,000, there's not that many options to be had. As a matter of fact, as a base model, the S65 is pretty much exactly what you want. On the exterior, the S65 is almost exactly like the rest of the S-Class range. Beautiful sweeping lines, gorgeous LED headlights, as well as lots of chrome. But there are distinct aspects that make it stand out from the more plebeian models. For instance, the front grille has dual slats instead of singular ones, the air intakes in the front are more aggressive, and for those who don't notice those small styling cues, there is a massive V12 by turbo badge on the side. As well as, of course, the rear that says S65 AMG. We've also got quad exhaust to let you know that this is a performance variant of the S-Class. Under the hood is something incredibly special, a handcrafted six liter bi-turbo V12 that produces a monstrous 621 horsepower and 738 pound feet of torque. That is almost twice the torque that a Ferrari 458 produces, and that is a supercar, and this is a luxury sedan and that power is put to the wheels, and despite weighing as much as a small house, the S65 AMG is capable of doing a zero to 60 run in just 4.2 seconds. You've got paddles mounted on the steering wheel, although I imagine no owners are ever going to be using them, but when you go full throttle in the S65, wow, it thrusts you back into your seat shockingly hard, but it does so in an incredibly smooth manner. That's why they have the bi-turbo V12. V12s have such a smooth characteristic. It sounds really nice, although it's pretty quiet in here. But as you step on the gas, it moseys along with ease. There's no transmission jerking. There's no weird engine response. Everything is as smooth as riding on a cloud. Now the S550 feels like it couldn't ride any better than that. But these seats, the suspension, the engine all work together in such harmony that it feels as smooth as it could possibly get. In the front, the S65 looks quite similar to a well-equipped S550. Of course, we've got the beautiful rotating tweeters on the standard Burmester high-end sound system. If you haven't heard one of these in person, I can't explain how beautiful and how clear this sound system sounds. It is absolutely the best on the market, and in this car, it's standard. On the lower end S-Class models, it'll cost you nearly $7,000. We've got quilted leather, the most comfortable seats in the world. There's even leather on the headliner, none of that crappy material that you're used to on normal cars. And my favorite part is the IWC analog clock in the middle of the dash. For those of you who are unfamiliar with IWC, they are a luxury watchmaker who has been designing timepieces since 1868. Perfect compliment to the classy and luxurious X65. In case you forgot that you just dropped $227,000, now that's the base model. You can spend more than that, although not by much. 
It reminds you on the dash. We've got a completely unique instrument cluster to the AMG models. On this one, it says AMG on the left, where the Speedo goes up to 220 miles an hour in a luxury sedan. Now on the tachometer, it says V12 by turbo. None of that V8 by turbo peasant stuff. Of course, we've got access to the rear sunshade by clicking the button to the left of the dual 12.3 inch screens. You can control the sunshades of the rear occupants, which you can also do from the rear as well. The S65 is a car that is actually quite nice to drive, but you truly want to experience it from the back. Of course, being an S-Class, the S65 has a multitude of technological features. We've got a heads-up display in front of me showing in very simple font the miles per hour and what gear I am in. We, of course, have Distronic Plus with lane keep assist. The car can drive itself within the lanes. It can slow itself down to avoid crashing into traffic, and it can even accelerate itself from a standstill if you're in stop-and-go traffic. We also have night vision, which, of course, helps you see at night, but it looks really cool in the center 12.3 inch screen when you activate it via a button that's quite hard to reach while you're driving, you're able to see objects in the pitch black that you wouldn't normally be able to see. That combined with Distronic Plus, make sure that you don't hit any pedestrians when you're driving your car because you can't hear anything outside of the S65. We've got two different suspension settings, sport and comfort, but really it's more like cloud and slightly firmer cloud. You do get quite a bit of body roll, although in sport mode, the air ride suspension actually mitigates body roll very well for such a big vehicle. We've also got multiple different driving modes for the transmission. We've got comfort, sport, and manual. Let's put it into manual because this is probably the first time anyone has ever put an S65 AMG into manual mode. The transmission shifts fairly quickly. Let's try downshifts. Wow, actually, very responsive, and when you mash the gas, whoa, this thing is really, really, really quick. In the cabin, you're completely isolated from the outside world. A car just passed me, I legitimately didn't hear anything at all, but they did a great job of letting the engine just slightly penetrate into the cabin so you can hear that beautiful, silky smooth sounding V12. Do I wish it was a little louder? Sure, but the majority of customers buying an S65 would probably disagree with me. Even the headrests are like pillows at a Ritz-Carlton hotel. This is the most comfortable driving experience, short of a Rolls-Royce Ghost or Phantom, that you can get. And may I remind you, this is half the price of a Rolls-Royce Phantom and looks almost as cool. This would not be a proper review without experiencing the back seats. So I'm going to pull over, hop back there, and check out what it's like to be a royal passenger in the S65. The rear of the S65 is absolutely the place to be. I just rested my head against these pillows for the first time, and this is the softest material I've ever felt in any car. They, of course, are heated and cooled. They recline. If you're in the passenger side seat, you can move the front passenger out of the way so that you can almost completely lie down. They also massage you. For $2,000, you can get rid of the center seat to give you a throne-like experience. You can fold out center tray tables to eat expensive food, count your money, catch your tears as you cry about the taxes you just paid. But that's okay, because you can also get a refrigerator back here for Dom Perignon, so you can drink your sorrows away as well. We've also got entertainment screens for the left and right rear passenger. You can also control the climate as well, and you can operate the rear sunshade. That is ridiculous. Well, there you go, ladies and gentlemen. If you want the pinnacle of luxury and don't want to shell out $400,000 for a Rolls Royce, look no further than the S65 AMG. Thank you so much to Amir from EAG. Link in the description below to their dealership. Make sure to check it out. Give them some love for providing this car. Hope you enjoyed this video. Like always, please browse the channel and subscribe. I look forward to seeing you next video. <laughs> <laughs>